Have you ever thought about what this instrument is? Doesn't it look familiar? Have a listen to how it sounds. Here's some examples. Sound familiar yet? Have you ever heard that and thought? It sounds like a straw through a styrofoam cup. Who else has been looking for the hoo-ha hoo-ha sound for so long? I called it the Donkey Kong drum for years. Lyrics, squeaks, quonks, quonks, quonk, times 50. Well today I'm here to address those queries, those thoughts and introduce you to one of my favourite instruments, the kuwika. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jordan Ferguson, I'm a percussionist based in Edinburgh, and this isn't going to be a tutorial, but this is just going to be me talking about this special drum here. If you enjoy this and want some lessons on the instrument, leave a comment below and I'll, I'll make it. If people want it, I'll do my best to share what I know so far about it. Kuwika is a friction drum from Brazil, and it's used predominantly in samba, which in its current form was born in Rio de Janeiro, the southeast of the country, about a little over 100 years ago. The Kuwika has been used for a long time, but no one knows exactly when it started being used. All we know now is that it's synonymous with the sound of samba. For me, this is one of the most captivating percussion instruments there are, and you can see them all over the place in Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, and in any Escolage samba that you find in Brazil. These are samba schools. These are the large groups that parade down a massive arena in Carnival. These groups will have large sections of Kawika players. In the larger samba schools, there's about 20 people in a section, all playing Kawika. What usually one's much larger than this. You'll have almost certainly heard this instrument in loads of different examples over time. Examples that spring to mind with me right now are in the track Floral Fury in the video game soundtrack for Cuphead. You can hear it all over the place in 70s and 80s jazz records, thanks to two very well-known percussionists being in demand in sessions and for bands at this time. Those percussionists being Ayuto Moreira and Paulinho da Costa. However, this instrument has a much longer history. Whilst its exact origins aren't known, we do know that it is from the continent of Africa and it was much larger originally and made of wood and rope. And its function wasn't musical, but rather as a tool. It was used to recreate the sounds of lion mating calls to attract other lions to the area so then they can be hunted for food. Obviously with the structures being larger, larger drums make deeper sounds typically, that is the rule of thumb. This is only about six inches in diameter so there's very little chance that it'll make a lion sound. Things to be careful of when playing this instrument is applying too much pressure and too much friction on the bamboo stick because what will happen is you pull it off completely. It doesn't really matter what cloth, I just took this from a dish towel and cut it up and you just need to dip it in water or cover it in water and drain it out a little bit so it's not too wet. This is a relatively small one. I've seen various Kawikas over the years with different shapes and sizes. The smallest one being maybe about three inches in diameter and being made of like snake skin. <laughs> and the largest one being about 12 inches in diameter with Essentially the bells of trumpets attached to it to make it even louder, as if it wasn't loud enough. So whilst I said this isn't a lesson, here are some of those ideas closer up. So as you can see, bamboo stick. If I get the cloth, let's see if I can get this angle right. It's already wet. And all you need to do to play this and get the different pitches out, All I need to do to get the different pitches out is fold this cloth over just so there's not too much wet cloth going around. One finger. Two fingers. Three. Word of caution. My Kawika is really old. It's second hand. Doesn't really work amazingly. Focus. Missing a tuning lug. This one is pretty unreliable as far as instruments go, but it does the job. I don't need to play this one professionally, I just bring it to school groups and show them this is what it sounds like. In the description, I've linked some examples below on different examples of Kawika being played. Be sure to check them out. For copyright reasons, I can't include them in the video. And as I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to see lessons on this instrument, do let me know and I'll share what I know already. 
and I hope to see you again in another video.